Libra, welcome into your reading. We are low-key spying today on someone, okay? So we are going to be looking at somebody that you are thinking about or somebody that's thinking about you and see exactly what their thoughts and feelings are, their current feelings for you and thoughts are. Then we're going to be going in and looking and seeing what's going on in their world and where their main focus is right now. Um, remember, it is a general reading. So if it does resonate with you, you're going to know immediately, okay, Libra? If not, please do check your Venus your Venus, your Moon, and your Rising sign. Um, you can also go into the playlist as well, and you can go check out whichever uh, reading calls to your, your playlist, and go check out whichever reading calls to your soul. You're meant to see that reading. Um, otherwise, if you want to have a personal reading with me, you can contact me. Email below in the description box of the video. I do pre-recorded videos as well as video chats with you guys, live video chats, which is so amazing. They last about an hour long. So let's get into this energy and have a look and see what is this person's feelings for you and what's their main energy? Ooh, they've got an empress that's come up here. This person has very sentimental, soft, um, really um, nurturing energy. It literally says nurturing. If this is somebody that you have a child with, definitely this person still has emotion for you. If this is a new person that you've met here, they feel protective about you. It's like they want to protect you or they want to, like, somehow put you in a little nest with feathers and you know what I mean take care of you kind of vibe that's nice I like that let's see what's going on with this person's energy let's have a look and see what's up it, it could be a possibility it's an ex-person if this is an ex-person why are you exes with this person because this is somebody who's still got emotion for you okay um let's have a look and see what will come up it could be a new person let's have a look and see spirit guide who is this person to my Libras out there. Let's have a look and see what will come in. Let's see. Ace of Wands, whoever this is, somebody wants to reach out to you. They're still very attracted to you. They are closed off from you right now. They don't know how to fix this. an ex person. And the Four of Cups is somebody that you know. This could be the mother or father of your children. This could be somebody that you cut ties with or somebody that you... Um, uh, are no longer in contact with you or you're not in communication with them they feeling left out from you here with the five of pentacles this is what tells me that this was an ex-person they cannot stop thinking about you this person you are on their mind all the time they still got feelings for you and they can't stop thinking about you they feel like you've shut them out in some kind of way maybe you blocked them i don't know with the five of pentacles coming in here they do and they are still very attracted to you with the Ace of Wands coming in here. You're on their mind. You're burning a hole in their brain. I'm just saying, you know, do your ears itch? I don't know. Like, <laughs> this is thing is with this person. They're really, really in their head here. They can't stop thinking about you. They must probably dreaming about you, which frustrates them. Um, they dream that you guys are getting back together and then you're not. You know what I mean? And so they do think about reaching out to you. If you've blocked them, they don't know how to reach out to you. They, like I said, they kind of like want to have you back in their home or have you back in their energy with the nurturing, the empress, the energy coming in here. You, they're overthinking, over, over. They can't stop thinking about you. Literally five of wands. They're trying to think how a problem can be solved or what they did. How can they fix it? What happened between the two of you? How can it be undone? Um, how can they get back towards you? They think about you almost every minute of the day. I don't know. Is this good? <laughs> you know, it's like a bit much, eh? You know what I mean? <laughs> um, with the Four of Cups coming in here, they also don't know if you'll accept them back in. Um, the Four of Cups, they might have tried to reach out to you already and you said, no, nope, you know what I mean? Or they're feeling like you may have blocked them so they don't know how to reach out to you. Um, this is a very interesting energy. I'm curious about what's your stance on all of this, hey? Maybe you've got a stalker, I'm just saying, or an ex-stalker going on here. I'm just saying. Um, let's have a look and see. We're going to turn this card under the deck here. The moving card here, they could be thinking about relocating here. We've got the chariot card coming in, which is um, Cancer's energy. So they could be thinking about relocating or moving or changing their job or traveling in some kind of way here. Okay. Um, if this is a stalker, <laughs> just be careful. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know what I mean? Traveling to you. Um, the thing is, yeah, they want to change their life in some kind of way. They're definitely thinking about how they can get back together with you in their life, okay? There's no doubt about it. This person, I don't feel like this is a new person. This is definitely an ex-person. I'm thinking about how you guys can kind of get back together, get back on track with each other, be on the same road, <laughs> you know what I mean? Not separate 
highways going in different directions, you know, they're trying to get back together with you. Um, that's it, but I feel like it's really their main focus. I ask like what is going on around them in their world, really thinking a lot about this, okay? They may have even had a tarot reading on you, I'm just saying, because that's what Spirit Guide said. Um, the Four of Pentacles, really not trusting how things are going to unfold. The Four, the Knight of Swords, the Hermit, wow. And the Six of Wands, this person, oh, I don't know, hey. I don't know. This is good. I don't know. It's good, like, if you want them. But if you don't want this person, then I would be a bit careful because that means you've got a kind of like a stalker vibe going on in your hands here. Um, you're close to this person, so they know that you're close to them. The Four of Pentacles, the Four of Cups here, the Five of Pentacles, you know. I feel like you're close to this person. And... Um, they know you may not open up to them and then the hermit card comes up here i feel like it's both of you i feel like it, it represents with virgo coming in here it represents how you two are with each other right now you're in no contact you're in like this energy where you don't communicate with them and they can't communicate with you they want to communicate with you uh, without a doubt the hermit card coming in here it's like literally they're feeling isolated and alone, shut out. I mean, literally on top of it, we've got the five of pentacles. Look at the, how this person's sitting there, just kind of like alone and by themselves, feeling very left out. Um, are you going to comment below? I got to know. <laughs> are you done with this person? Are you like, I'm done, Dero. I'll never go back to this person. Then yeah, okay. Then it's a stalker vibe. Be careful. This person might try to reach out to you in some kind of way or come and even rock up where you, wherever you are. So just be aware of that. Um... If it is a person that you kind of like having a no contact with and you're interested in what they're thinking about, now you know, basically you. Um, this is action that they want to take here. Okay, so it's action. You do have an ace of wands here um, towards you. The action that they want to take towards you. They're viewing you like the light of their life here. Um, they're viewing you like somebody that they really want to get back together with. Um, they feel as if they, you guys could be soulmates with each other or you are the one for them. It's like this person is running towards whoever that is, which is you. Like the spotlights are all on you right now. That's where the, all the energy and focus is going on towards you. So I feel like whoever this is might make a move towards you or might try to come towards you. If that is something that you want, congratulations. And if it's not something that you want, now you know, be aware. Um, with this energy here, we've got the Strength card coming in over there. We've got Leo and we've got the Eight of Cups. That is you. That is all about you. You have walked away from this person. Your Eight of Cups, you've got your Strength card there. It took great strength to overcome a situation. You are standing very strong in your life here. You have to decide what it is that you want here. If you uh, would like to be back with this person, you will have the opportunity to do so. You can turn around and come back here. Um, it's all up to you. For a lot of you guys, honestly, I pick up that you won't. Um, I feel like you're too strong now. You're too independent with the strength card coming in there. You're standing your ground. You don't need anybody. Um, you've leveled up in some kind of way with the strength card. You might keep on walking away from them. It all depends on your situation with this person, how they treated you, what they were doing with you, and what, how you felt and how you leveled yourself up and what was working for you and what was not. So if this situation is something that you're going, wow, I'd love to be back together with this person. I really think that you're going to have that opportunity again. But if you're going, oh, no, Deborah, I will never. Then just be aware that I really feel like this person has not let you go. Um, I, if I was you and I was somebody who's going, I just don't want this person near me. I'm done with them. You know, I would actually do like a cord cutting or a cord removal with them. If it was me being who I am as the head witch, you know, I have a problem like this. If somebody doesn't want to sort of come towards me, I would either put them in the lemon in my fridge or a bottle in my fridge and deep freeze them, their name or a photo of them. I'm just saying, or I would do a cord removal kind of a thing. If you want to know about that, you can go check. There is a video that I have, um, on cord removal. Um, how to do that and how to break ties with a person or a situation or even a memory that you have you can go check it out i think i'll put a link for it up here you can have a look and see what that's all about and how that is done especially if it's unwanted from you to them from them to you you don't want this and go do something like that cut it out you know what i mean otherwise there we go and if you want to catch more content 
from me you can do so you can subscribe if you haven't done so already turn on the notification bell so you know when your next videos come out here is your playlist you can go to any one of those videos that calls to you literally they are timeless go to whichever one speaks to your soul and up on top here my new pick a card reading channel if you want to go check out the, those videos that i've done up there they are also timeless and i think i'll have a new one out like either the time you get this reading or the next day otherwise i'm telling my love to you thank you so much for watching bye